In order to void an invoice and activate, we first need to open up the sales order. There are a couple different ways to get to the sales order. In this case, I'm going to look up a customer, go to the orders tab, and filter on the completed orders. I'm going to open up my order. And on the invoices tab, I'll see an option for voiding the invoice. When I click that, I will be asked if I want to avoid it, and I can choose yes or no. There may be more to the message depending on if there was a payment with the invoice and if that payment has been synchronized to QuickBooks. In this case, there is a payment that was with this invoice that has been synchronized to QuickBooks. So when I void this invoice, the payment will not be voided. It will remain in QuickBooks. Only the invoice will be voided. If the payment and invoice had not yet been synchronized to QuickBooks, then both the payment and invoice are voided. I'll click yes. I receive a message that the invoice has been voided. You'll notice the status now goes back into a scheduled status and I can edit the order, make any changes to quantities, price, anything on the order. When I'm ready to create the invoice again, I will create the invoice as I did before and it will actually use the original invoice number.